in some George. I say, who the hell is that fool? I'm ready for you any day. Foolish man. Ube who say a drop you baby. Messi member will drag at them. Messi Ube Ube wrong what na form. Me, I'm telling you that. If somebody thinks I'm sitting here because of Mahama, then you are you are stupidly stupid. I'm telling you. You can call your Mahama and ask him. And if your Mahama thinks I'm sitting here because of him, he's thinking stupidly. In the first place, I'm not called Kelvin. I'm called Kevin. Your dumb head. I am called Kevin. I'm not called Kelvin. Stop your stupidity. Kelvin Taylor or whatever he calls himself to get his facts straight and know which fight to pick. If the airhead does not know that I am not a member of the appointment committee, the parliament, he will sit there and spew nonsense. You are an MP and you spoke like a, a childish kid. A child. A child. I don't care whether you are part of the committee or not. When they voted generally, they didn't you vote. You are acting, you are speaking like you are coming from Ankafo. Okasa said you free Ankafo na Oba. Who the hell do you think you are? Sam George, who the hell do you think you are? Ghana Nayo Funtra, who the hell do you, Sam George, you think you are? Who the hell do you think you are? You are just a mere MP. Fuck off, my friend. Who the hell do you think you are? You are talking nonsense and we are correcting you. And we will make sure you lose that seat. I am ready for you any day, my friend. Let me finish your statement. That you think you are come out and speak anyhow. Foolishness. We pay you. If you think you are somebody, leave parliament. Foolishness. Somebody makes a statement and you sit on TV and say, say he needs to be in Ankafo. Who the hell do you think you are? All the money you are taking, don't you think we know? Come and tell me, I don't care. What the fuck? You sit there, you, you, you act like the country belongs to you. If that... Uh, we celebrated too many, my friend. We have celebrated too many mad people to make them MP. Me see, we have celebrated too many kids to make them MP. We Ghanaians are too foolish to vote for somebody like you to be an MP. What do you know? What did you come with? You are no older than me, oh my friend. I am telling you, your mind that you say, we're full soon to win. You are not older than me. And let me tell you for a fact, Sam George, you are not better than any MP. MPP is NDC is better than you. You are some of the people that took MPP NDC to opposition. You, some people like you, you are some of the people who took NDC to opposition. Everything, nye, 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 what do you know in politics? What do you know in politics? No wonder they wanted to get you get rid of you. Everything, nye, nye, you don't think before you, you speak. Foolishness. You go with your brains, you go with your bats. You are a man, sit. Relax and think about issues before you speak. Foolishness. Do you think anybody can just come and say, this man made this statement and that the statement he needs to be in Ankara? Foolish man. You are not older than me. I'm telling you for a fact. You, Sam George, what experience do you have? Ghana and have Funtra so that we get any idiot to be on. P Masa, I don't want any foolish idiot to text me later. Who the hell is Sam George? I say, who the hell is that fool? Such a fool paraded in parliament, left and right. I didn't try. He's part of the communication nonsense, foolishness. They were supposed to kick you out. Me see, you people are part of the reason why NDC is in opposition. If NDC doesn't come to power, I don't give a hook. I don't give a heck. Fucking, do I care? It is you who that wants money. If you think you have made it from your school, you went, leave politics, foolishness. You people will feed you like chicken. And then when we are criticizing you, you don't want to be criticized. Who the hell do you think you are? I'm ready for you any day. Foolish man. Foolish man. Me see, me and you, we are ready. Mujimi, you know, I'm going to take Ghana, you know, when you do things and we are telling you, Martin Amidu came out with a statement and made an emphatic statement. Did you call the Attorney General's office to fact check before you came there to speak like a fool? You're sitting there writing statements about me? Master Mabedo Capre. Your foolishness now. Nah. Also, I know what you You speak anyhow. Me, when you bring that thing to me, I'm not going to spare you. Me, when you bring those nonsense to me, I don't have time to entertain you. We just let Queen start it. You're not TV show. And now you're going to be So I will concert now to Ghana and bring it here. What to Ghana? You can come with Sam George. Sam George. What at all have you done? Go to Pram Pram. Come in the comfort to say refugees. Go to Pram Pram. The place is messed up. You come to Accra, you want to act like you are the most wisest fool in Ghana. Master, we are not here to please anybody. If my TV shuts down tomorrow, my Facebook will run. I don't fucking care about you. It's the people we are talking about. 
It is the welfare of the people. It is Ghana first. You are so so criminals in some society every day. Every day. Some joint. Every day, some joint. We don't even see anything you bring on the table. We don't see anything. Go to your parliament and go talk about me. Foolishness. Me see me and you. You will lose this seat. I swear to God. You. Uben will say, a drop you baby. Me see me will at them. It is a promise today. Write the dates down. Me, Kevin Taylor. Me me will wear at them. You will lose them seat. And then you, 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 me say, Uber, Uber, wrong, what now form? Me, I'm telling you that. We just see a Jimmy on We give you small power and you think you can exhibit that ignorance. Foolishness. Somebody like you, you can't think deep. You, you don't, you don't even think deep. You sit there, write something. Go and tell Kevin Taylor, oh, free. You think I survive on, on, on taxpayers' money? Me say, I am promising you today. Me, Kevin Taylor, I am promising you. You will lose that seat. Now, <laughs> I know you are watching me and your family, so all that girlfriend, I'm telling you, foolishness. What you say? Jimmy Nibiane, I'm telling you that what you did, you were supposed to even come out tomorrow and, 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 and apologize. Let me tell people listening to me. If somebody thinks I'm sitting here because of Mahama, then you are, you are stupidly stupid. I'm telling you. You can call your Mahama and ask him. And if your Mahama thinks I'm sitting here because of him, he's thinking stupidly. I am telling you for a fact. So if somebody in the NDC thinks I'm on this platform because of him, then that person is a fool. Ah, yes. So, me, eh? I am, Master, me say, if you have something, bring it. Ah, now, Sam George, me, I will show you something. You, Sam George, ha, why a mistake? Me say the last time somebody pleaded in your favor. Why a mistake? You. That boy, Charles Nita what did you do with him? That boy in the presidency, what business deal do you have with him? Master, shut up. Shut up. Me see, if somebody's in the end, is it thinking I am here because of John Mahama? Go and tell John Mahama that I think he is thinking stupid. Yes. I'm telling you people. So don't think I'm here because I am here because I don't like the leadership. I don't like the corruption. People are struggling. And when a fool like this is giving opportunity to go to parliament speak wisely make sure the right thing is said now because that is not with jimmy when you can you only come 100 times i'll come 100 times the tv you can turn it off i don't care you and your also can go and connive and turn it off i don't fucking care you people you wrote on the back of john mahama to be here come on you come on for majority of you people didn't have life you, Sam George, you have you have disrespected everybody in the NDC. Me see you, Sam George. Majority of you people. If it wasn't John Mahama's back, you people were riding. You people, what did you Foolishness. You come with him, man. Come with him. You you want? Me say bring it on. Me my butt damn town. Who can just say come in any journalist now? A comedy or mona? Oh, give me hundred dollar. Me. Me soon maybe I'm sick of shakoka. I do I care? You, Sam George. You mean a boy? I'm out to retain you seat. You know it. Because you failed to deliver. You know it's a, it is God who helped you me, win that seat. And in Ghana politics, when you say it's God, so many things come together to make you win an election. So for an MP to sit on national television to say, say, because the special prosecutor has made an emphatic statement, a statement that he gave facts, that we could go back and verify those facts, you don't sit on TV irresponsibly, and say, say, they need more mental hospitals. Then if we need more mental hospitals, we need to invest in more mental... Then we need to invest in people like you people. Because no person in his right senses will pass somebody like Howard Kumson. You, Sam George, will be to win a crampon. Will he? Will he? These are the irresponsible things you people do in opposition. Now more per chance to come into power. The highest form of disrespect to the Ghanaian Get to the Ghanaian. You sit there and you speak as if you know all the knowledge in this world. I don't have all the knowledge, but as far as you are an MP, you were saying yourself, say, I started from 2017 to 2018. Crime is crime. Are you, are you a kid? Crime is a crime. And he has been there. When Martin Amidu was in politics, you, Sam George, where were you? It is out of some arrogance. And be a catch them. You people are not above anybody. You are rushing too much. Maintain and relax. Because when the man was making the statement, he was emphatic about where he had the statement. And that is the topic we're going to treat today. How it came by, he gave every fact to show, said, this is it. 
when he wrote those things, when he came out with those statements, he made us know where the stories came from. And that is what I am going to do today to let you people know, sir. The lot of forecasters that said, uh, Paul, I don't matter, he's mad. And somebody like Kukubaku, he's also mad. And no, Namaba and Amibe him. So for somebody like Sam George, how old are you? No, it's, I respect you a lot. I've interviewed you before. But if you want to be called an honorable person, you speak like an honorable person. Yes. Politics, Naya Funtra, today you sit there and you want to say, say, Martin Amidu is mad because he's talking about double salary. Didn't it happen? My friend, sometimes you need to be responsible a little bit. They are humans. They have, majority of them are smarter than you. But because of some reason, that's why you are an MP. Sometimes you people force yourself into opposition. Force yourself for the people not to like you. You just don't speak because the mic is on. You, who are you trying to please here? Who are you trying to impress? Anything the catch MDC for say if you people are not ready to come to power, shut up and sit back. I heard Harun Idrisu making noise, and we are not going to make you this deputy minister. You people shut up. We saw all that happen in parliament when Sami Jeffy came out to criticize and was clear cut in his statement. What did you people do? Who doesn't know you people take bribes in parliament? Who doesn't know that some people were told that if they mess up, they will be they will, be, they, 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 they will come after them? We are not fools in Ghana. So you sit there and you make it sound like Martin Amidu who can sit you down and teach you. I'm telling you for a fact. Yena yembunipa. Yena, we just want to make sure. So we, 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 are, we, we are better than people. Martin Amidu can teach you. You, Sam, Sam, Sam George. Yes. He can school you when it comes to politics, whatever you went to learn in school. So you don't just speak anyhow. Oh, and this into world. Who cares? Because there are more reasonable, rational people in Ghana looking at the issues. Every single individual was shocked when all these people were passed. When somebody like this, you, Sam George, you can't say,